Hello everyone, and welcome to my sister wife's bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Janelle Brown shared her thoughts on spending Mother's Day without her son Garrison for the first time. I felt a lot of unexpected emotion on Mother's Day. Personally, I've never really gotten into the holiday spirit. The 55-year-old sister wife star took to Instagram on Monday, May 20, to reveal that her children have never left her side and have a way of making her feel special every single day. This is particularly true now that they are grown-ups and no longer need constant supervision. This year, though, was unique. With her ex-husband Cody Brown, Janelle has four children. Logan, 29, Madison, 27, Hunter, 27, Gabriel, 22, and Savannah, 19, all of whom she shares with Garrison. When Garrison Brown, age 25, committed suicide earlier this year, it was a devastating blow to the Brown family. My anguish was very near to the surface all weekend. And it was very poignant when I cooked this simple pie, a Janelle continued. It seemed like this pie was meant to be after our strawberry picking adventure and the serendipitous discovery of rhubarb at the farmer's market. Janelle mentioned that she wanted to spend the day cooking strawberry rhubarb, which is a favorite in her family. Maybe no one enjoyed it more than Garrison. And that made this pie a little bittersweet. She penned with a picture of the delectable dessert. I love you honey and miss you every day. In March, Janelle and Cody reported that Garrison had passed away. Janelle and I am terribly devastated to report the loss of our darling boy Robert Garrison Brown, Cody, 55, wrote via Instagram at the time. He was such a bright spark in the lives of everybody who knew him. Our loss will leave such a great hole in our lives that it steals our breath away. We ask that you kindly respect our privacy and join us in remembering his memory. Us Weekly reported that law enforcement arrived at Garrison's home in Flagstaff, Arizona on March 5. The cops located him dead at the location with what seemed to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Garrison's autopsy report, which was disclosed in May, revealed his cause of death was a gunshot wound to the head and declared a suicide. Days after his passing, a funeral was held in Garrison's honor according to his cousin, Emma Brown. One month after his demise, Janelle took to Instagram to memorialize Garrison on what would have been his 26th birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. We are missing you greatly today. It's hard to realize you aren't here anymore. Janelle wrote over Instagram in April. And we talked a lot about you today and even went to Texas Roadhouse for dinner, your favorite place grinning face. I still feel you nearby sometimes. And I'm grateful we shall see each other again when my journey is over. For Janelle Brown, 55. Mother's Day this year wasn't the same without her loving son Garrison Brown, who passed away on March 5, 2024. The grief-stricken Sister Wives star penned a lengthy explanation of her, surprisingly emotional, day on her Instagram feed, adding a photo of a strawberry rhubarb pie. According to page 6, Janelle wrote, Grief and strawberry rhubarb pie. Mother's Day was very emotional for me. Personally, I've never really gotten into the holiday spirit. My children have always shown up for me and made me feel special every day especially once they became independent people and weren't around all the time. Stating that the pie she prepared was emblematic of her bond with Garrison, she said, this year was different. All weekend, I felt the pain so close to the surface, and it was more poignant when I cooked this simple pie. Our strawberry harvesting adventure paired with the fact that I randomly spotted rhubarb at the local farmer's market made it feel like this pie was destiny. She continued, strawberry rhubarb is a major favorite at our house and maybe no one enjoyed it more than Garrison. And that made this pie a little bittersweet. I love you honey and miss you every day. Garrison was 25 when he was found dead at his home in Flagstaff, Arizona. His family members, notably his sister Madison Brush, frankly exposed his failing mental condition. In a video message she shared on March 18, Brush said, It wasn't bullying, it wasn't a lack of love that Garrison had, it was mental health, and I am going to continue talking about mental health and self-care until I am blue in the face. She added, Social media is not real. It's a highlight reel and that was something that Garrison and I talked a lot about, she continued. I know my other siblings and my mom have stated this 
that Garrison used to feel like he wasn't doing enough because he was comparing himself to things on social media and I don't think that it's true and we need to remember that. Two months after his untimely demise, on May 15th, People magazine got the autopsy findings. The Coconino County Medical Examiner in her findings indicated that Garrison died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. According to the report, a major contributing factor was ethanol intoxication, which is another word for alcohol poisoning. Lieutenant Charles M. Hernandez II of the Flagstaff Police Department told the source, at this moment, there is not any indication of foul play, and detectives from the Criminal Investigations Division are investigating. Shortly thereafter, Janelle acknowledged her son's death in a statement released on Instagram. Sister wives Christine Brown admits she's staying to the finish. So what is all this about? Quick fill in, though she has been parted for hubby. Sister wives Christine Brown announces she's sticking until the finish. So what is all this about? Quick fill in, though she has been split for hubby Cody for a while now, she's making it formal and is officially leaving him for good. Considering she is such a key part of the show, people have taken this as the beginning of an ending for the show. During the season opener this year, she minced no words. Though we cannot cite all the colorful terms she used, a coward is one of the safer ones for publication. It's been evident for some time that this train was a bit of a wreck. This is Sister Wives, after all. A show that many of us watch in general, amazed that it even exists. You would think it would never get this far, yet there it is. This gets us to the main question. Is the show going to finish now? I made a commitment to Cody and everybody else that I will stay with Sister Wives as long as we have the show just to be fair, Christine, 50, remarked on Wednesday, November 16th, when asked if she would ever leave the show that has lasted 17 seasons. Uh, it's what our family's been doing for so long. She said, uh, I feel like it would be disloyal if I, you know, decided to not be part of the show. The TV star said she was leaving Cody in a statement made via Instagram in November 2021 following a time of distance and stress between the couple. After more than 25 years together, Cody and I have grown apart and I have taken the terrible decision to leave, Christine wrote at the time. Sister wives Christine Brown announces she's sticking until the finish. The reality is many people heard about her leaving Cody and felt that would put a stop to the show. As she has gone on to elaborate, that is not the situation here. Though there will be a time of mending and numerous modifications, she wants to see the performance through to its proper finish. Daughter of Cody and Christine Brown, Michael T., discloses the sex of her arriving babies. The celebrity is expecting the babies with her hubby, Tony Padrone. Michael T. and Tony, parents of a 16-month-old daughter, Avalon Asa, revealed the news in a recent snapshot of themselves. Blue powder poppers were blasted off as Michael T. explains that the news beat her expectation. Michael T. Brown and her husband, Tony Padrone, share the sex of their baby on Instagram. The couple, who are already delighted parents of a daughter, disclosed that they will be receiving twin sons soon. A snapshot of the young family was posted by the pair shooting off blue powder poppers. Michael T., TLC actress, confessed on the post that the sex of her twins was the least thing that she and her husband were expecting. According to Michael T., their daughter, Avalon, will finally have two brothers to boss about. The couple's enthusiasm was obviously visible on the gender surprise snap. In the picture, Michael T. Brown and Tony were spotted letting off the poppers with a wide smile as the sex of the babies was divulged. Tony was observed with a shirt and shorts with sneakers to accent. The sister wife star, on the other hand, was clothed in a floral green gown that hung just over her knee with Avalon Asa in her hands. Avalon glanced at the poppers in a white linen with her left arm leaning backward. The twin boys are yet to be named, and the celebrity actress said that she's expecting them on the 1st of December this year. But according to Michael T. Brown, irrespective of the baby's sex, she's expecting them earlier than Thanksgiving because they are twins. Michael T., when talking about her burgeoning family, stated that she and her spouse will soon be outnumbered. But she looks forward to the great adventure. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.